Hey everyone, welcome to LabVIEW Tips and Tricks episode 6. Today I wanted to show you how to use VI snippets to capture an image of your code that you can actually drag and drop into your VIs to retrieve the functionality that the image represents. So VI snippets is a very good way to share your code with other developers uh, if you want to show them an example of a functionality that you created, it's a very good way to post your code on a forum because the VI snippet that you will create will be just a PNG image with some additional information that allows LabVIEW to actually retrieve the functionality that is shown in the image. So let's just quickly create some kind of functionality that we might want to use uh, share with other developers. So let's say we have uh, we have uh, just some kind of uh, for loop with uh, that generates random values. Let's say like this. Let's wire a constant to the iteration count. So we want to generate 100 random values like so and then let's say we want to filter these values out using another for loop we want to provide all of the values to the input and we want to filter out only the values that are above uh, let's say half so greater or equal to half like so And now I'm just going to use an output tunnel with conditional um, input. So tunnel mode conditional. And I'm going to use this to filter out only the values, only the random values which are above half. And I will, let's say, let's show those values on a graph like this. So silver graph and waveform graph. So this is a very simple functionality, but let's imagine we want to share this. For example, we uh, it doesn't work uh, like we uh, like we are expecting, or it works properly, and we want to share this information with somebody else. For example, on ni.com uh, forums, or we want to send this in uh, send this code to tech support, then we can just create from this code that we um, that we built here we can just select everything and we can go to the edit menu and we can select create vi snippet from selection so this is this option here let me create the vi snippet i will save it as let's say generate and filter PNG image. So as you can see, the image format is PNG. So just the standard image format. And this has created a PNG image on our system. So you can actually right click on this and you can edit it with paint. But that's not recommended if you want to share but because you can actually um, you can corrupt the image, but if you want to share it and if you want the other users to be able to use it in LabVIEW again, uh, you can just use it like it is right now. And if you double click it, it will open just as a normal image, informing also the user uh, that it's a snippet. So with this kind of additional, uh, additional things at the top, and it will also show you the LabVIEW version in which this snippet was created. So in my case, it's LabVIEW 2013. So now I can use this VI snippet. If I cut this functionality from here, from the tester VI, I can actually drag and drop this VI snippet back into my code. And it will recreate the same functionality that is represented by the snippet. And I will be able just to run it like so. So once more, this is a very quick and a very good way to share your code with other developers or to post your code on the forums. You just need to go to edit 
and create BI snippet from selection. Okay, so this has been episode 6 on VI snippets. Please like and subscribe to the channel if you would like to see videos like this in the future. Thanks.